What's up YouTube, Ty Nelson here from Nels Media, back to conclude this 30 day musician trial. I'm gonna start with a quick tour of the app and then I'm gonna play a little something for you before I give you my final opinion. So when you fire up Musician, this is the screen it's gonna take you to. Now this is essentially a progress tree and as you scroll down, you'll see on the right, your level will increase as you get farther down the tree. Now in each of these categories, there's different activities or songs to perform before you can move on. Now you'll, you'll complete this basics category and then you'll get to a fork in the road where you can travel down a path that best suits you as a musician and your music styles or likes, preferences, whatever you choose. So this is the classical path. It's more linear music. Knowledge is more theory and knowledge. And then the pop path, I feel like in the beginning at least, is a lot of chords. So now up here at the top left, you'll see your username and you can click on this and you can see what level you are in each of the three categories as well as your overall level. You can see how much time you've spent. Now I've did this over a 30 day period and have logged just shy of 15 hours. So I have essentially sat down for maybe half hour a day. Um, I have missed some days. So some days I spend a little bit more, but give or take, there you go. Now aside from having songs and activities inside your progress tree, you also have this songs tab. Now inside here, you can look at trending songs, new songs, top songs, or songs in the category of your choosing. Inside of these, you can even set your musician level. So up here, I can click on this icon. You can see here, I am a level six. So I will find songs around my skill level and go through and find something I wanna play. Now once a week in this challenges category, they have one or two songs or different variations of the song at different skill levels. And you can come and play these songs within the week. You can see there's two days left remaining. And you can compare yourself to other people using the app. Um, you can see where you rank on the leaderboard in a sense. Okay, so here we are back on the home screen. And there's two other tabs I'll briefly touch on. You have workouts where you can go and work on scales, chords, different things like that. And then you have daily goals where you can set goals for how often you play, how long you play, different things like that. But let's go ahead and jump into a song. Okay, so here is a song I'm currently working on. Now when you first jump in, it's gonna take you to this page where you can coordinate your fingers to the keys on the piano using a color system. On this page, you can also press the keys down to make sure your piano or keyboard is in tune. Now I can see this being extremely helpful on the guitar, but you can also use it for your piano or keyboard. But let's go ahead and skip this and jump into the song. We'll switch the song over to practice mode. Now on practice mode, you can work on strictly left or right hand by turning on or off the other. You can also adjust the tempo of the song and slow it down if you'd like. We'll keep it at full speed here and we'll go ahead and start it. Now you'll see the notes are coming across in a bar form. Now each bar indicates on how long you hold each note, also known as the note value, quarter notes, half notes, etc. It also has a color, which corresponds to what finger you should use. It also gives you the name of the note as well as the position on the staff. Now we can switch this over to actual sheet music and continue on. And our third option will be a hybrid of the two. We keep the note value, we keep the notes on the staff, but we continue to use the color system to coordinate with our fingers as an easy reminder. Okay, well I'm gonna play the melody of a song called Green Sleeves for you. I'm gonna include the music here somewhere on the screen so you can follow along. This is a song I recently started learning so I have not yet transferred over to the actual sheet music, but here it is for you. Thank you. 
opinion. I absolutely love it. I think it is genius and here's why. First, it absolutely allows beginners to be able to jump in and play with little to no experience. Instead of getting so caught up and stuttering while trying to read sheet music, you could flow through a song. And sure, you might have a few rough spots, but with a few run-throughs, you'll be able to smooth it out. Second, it provides you with backup music to play with. So even though you may be playing a very simple part, especially as a beginner, you can feel like you're part of something bigger. You can work on your sense of rhythm, work on your sense of flow, without or in addition to using a metronome. And third, go get competitive, if not with others, just with yourself. To be able to quantify and measure your performance, there's something about trying to get a new high score that really pushes someone to get better. So what's next? I've decided I'm gonna stick with it. I'm gonna see where I can take it. So every Tuesday, I'm gonna post a cover or a performance, if you will. So make sure to subscribe, follow along. If you are a musician, make sure to add me as a friend and I will see you on the leaderboards.